Since the invention of the combustion engine, the world has been dependent on oil. But with growing energy demands and increasing concern over climate change, a cleaner, cheaper, renewable alternative to this finite fossil fuel must be found. One such alternative is biofuel, a fuel source not from plants compressed for millennia under the ground, but from plants sustainably grown and harvested year on year. One British company, Sun Biofuels, intends to be at the forefront of this new industry. Richard Morgan is the company's CEO. Biofuels businesses, by definition, are based on uh, agricultural production systems that produce plants, that in turn produce oil. It's refined to a degree into what would be called a pure vegetable oil, and this in turn provides the feedstock for making transportation fuels. Crops that produce oil uh, as a feedstock for the transportation oils business have the added benefit in that provided that they are grown and managed in a sustainable way can significantly reduce the emissions of uh, greenhouse gases. Sun Biofuels' strategy is to cover all areas of the biofuels industry, from cultivation and harvest to oil extraction and marketing. Established in 2005, the company already has projects in Tanzania and its flagship operation here in Mozambique. The biofuel industry is a very important industry for Mozambique and um, we have about 36 million hectares of land, of which less than 20% is currently being used. Uh, if you look at Mozambique, the geographical location in itself it's an asset to the country because it uh, positioned Mozambique as the gateway into Southern Africa. Companies like Sun Biofuels and other companies that have already invested in Mozambique, they're helping the country to diversify away from dependence on, on petroleum products. The benefits of this, of, of, of this investment will go uh, um, a long way in alleviating poverty in the country. An hour's flight from Maputo is Chimoyo, home to Sun Biofuels' 5,000 hectare plantation. I came to Mozambique three years ago and identified this site in central Mozambique in Minica province. It's in a fantastic location in terms of the soil, the climate and the infrastructure. It's hard in Africa to find a location that's better than this for growing Chitrofa. With the help of the local authorities, I was able to acquire the property of an American tobacco company. So where once was cultivated a drug, we now cultivate renewable energy. We've got 1,000 hectares of Jotropha planted. The total size of the farm is 5,000 hectares. In two years, we hope to have planted all of that, and we're looking to expand to a maximum size of 10 to 15,000 hectares. At the heart of Sun Biofuel's business is a very remarkable plant, the Jotropha kirkus, a species that grows wild in Africa and Sun's feedstock of choice for biofuel production. Jotropha is an incredibly interesting plant. It's fast growing, it's very adaptable. It'll grow in a large variety of environments ranging from arid to quite high rainfall areas. It is a perennial plant. The establishment is very simple and it produces seeds every year. The yield per tree is about three kgs with 35% oil content. It will be about 1,500 litres of pure oil, or about 1.5 tons a hectare. The Manica plantation was established in January 2009, and from 2010 we expect some yield, but the optimum yield will be obtained from 2012. The plants are really uh, doing well. The germination is over 95%, and we expect it to be a very good plantation. Sun Biofuels is a pioneer of large-scale Jotropha production. To optimise both seed and oil yields will require the continuous innovation and refinement of cultivation techniques. Research and development is crucial, particularly with a crop like Jotropha that's had very little in the way of investment previously. We are currently doing experimentation with tissue culture in labs in Mozambique in collaboration with local scientists that could, in a relatively short space of time, really improve the productivity of the plant. Biofuel production is a business attracting increasing support from governments and corporations around the world. With its high potential returns and social and environmental benefits, it represents a unique new vehicle for investment. What the biofuels business really offers us as project developers and our shareholders as investors is this opportunity linking agricultural markets in developing countries 
with energy markets and the carbon economy in the developing world. We believe in the quality of the land and the people that we've employed here. It's a question now of delivering the yields and the quality product into energy markets and provided we manage it in a sustainable way, uh, it'll be a very, I think, uh, interesting commercial opportunity.